biggest pain of having a Nissan Skyline is whenever you're going through a drive-thru, backwards. Yeah, these guys around here are definitely wondering, what the fuck is going on? Why is this band going backwards for? Well, it's a simple explanation. Passenger side, driver's side. Normal US passenger side, normal, wait. Normal driver's side, normal passenger side. Yep, Skyline, you never cease to make a uh, great appearance in the US. Almost there. All right, what's going on guys? It's OniR32 here. Once again, as you can tell, I had to go through a drive-thru. Of course, I have to go through a drive-thru backwards all the time because of the skyline. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going over a little bit more in depth on the skyline and basically what, um, I guess you could say what the skyline, I guess you could say how rare it is. Uh, the skyline is actually a lot more rare than I thought it was gonna be. Um, because it wasn't like, you know, it was basically like a base model, but it's not really a base model. Um, I'll explain more later on. Anyways, right now we are actually going to be going over to a Nissan dealership, which is uh, going to be pretty cool. Um, we're going to go to a Nissan dealership and we're actually going to go get a set of tires for the car and I'll show you why here in a bit. Skyline, you're going to a US Nissan dealership. You are good. You're going to a Nissan dealership. So, RV is looking hella fresh. Hold up. Let me adjust this real quick just a little bit. RV is looking great. I did uh, try and clean it up just a little bit. I hope I can actually clean this. Maybe I'll do like a little bit of a metal polish or something. Cleaned up all right here and the back wall and stuff like that right there. Uh, yeah, RV looks great. So I can't wait uh, for uh, the people at the dealership to really see this thing. I still gotta paint this though. I really gotta paint that. That, that, that bothers me a lot. I'm gonna show you guys why I need a um, new tire. So as you can see from right here, this is a uh, Bridgestone uh, Blistac Revo 2s. And you don't already, can't really see, these are uh, snow tires. So these tires are on all the way around on the uh, other side as well. And you can see, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but right here is some sidewall cracks and all throughout right here as well, some really, really bad sidewall cracks. And right there especially, you can look at all that right there. So that's really, really bad and that's like that throughout the uh, whole car. So I'm in need for some tires and I actually found a very great deal on some Yokohamas. Um, and like I said before, these aren't gonna be the wheels that I'm gonna be keeping on the Skyline. That's actually going to um, be swapped out eventually. I don't know how long, but yeah, they're gonna be swapped out eventually. So um, right now, there's actually some Yokohama Avids, or Advids, I'm, I'm pretty sure they call them Avids or Advids, but um, pretty much they are a all season sports tire. So uh, the Nissan dealership actually has a great deal on them right now. They're doing a 70% rebate, ah, uh, copyright. So this is, I don't know if you can really see it, but uh, Yokohama Avid Sins GTs. And they actually have a $70 rebate going on right now. Uh, you can see from right there. And uh, pretty much this is 385 installed. Also, um, yeah, I actually switched out the fuel pump for a Nissan GTR fuel pump, uh, R32 obviously. Um, I did an R32 fuel pump in this car now because uh, I got stranded on the side of the road with uh, the uh, fuel pump going out on my end. But now that fuel pump, that you, that fuel pump actually used to be pretty quiet, and now it's actually kind of loud again. So that's got me a little bit concerned. And it, yeah, that I don't know if you heard that. 
but it goes, you know, kind of whines like really, really loud. That's a little concerning for me. And you know, it's not really a uh, video until you basically did a car wash. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna do a car wash on it and I'll be right back. Funky now, you can see me. Hi, hi, you can see me in the reflection. She's looking really, really good now. I mean, look at that, just look at that reflection right there. Very nice. And I haven't even ceramic coated this thing yet either. I know it's gonna be a little witty, I'm gonna get inside the car real quick and explain. Yeah, so I haven't even ceramic coated the car yet, and it beads off water like really easily, very easily. So, um, yeah, so right now, car wash is done. Now we're gonna go out to the uh, Nissan dealership and we are going to see if we can get those tires at that price. See you there. Well, guys, I just passed by a state trooper. Uh, I was hoping he wasn't going to uh, try and pull me over because of my front plate right there. Uh, usually, over here in Texas, if you don't have a front plate on a car, uh, they will pull you over. The state troopers are real picky about that. But uh, I guess that guy was kind of cool. So he, he didn't uh, pull out or anything, and I was just like, okay, cool, nice, awesome. Yeah, but <laughs> uh, we just passed by the uh, the uh, motor, uh, Motorplex, Motor Speedway drag strip over here. Our very famous Texas drag strip, other than the one over in Houston. So yeah, but uh, we're still about 10 minutes out from the, um, the uh, Nissan dealership, so we're going to be heading that way, and we should be good to go with these tires, I hope. Uh, they say they have to order them, but they'll be in tomorrow, but you know what, that's fine. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get ready, and uh, we're gonna get these tires ready and done over with. That guy was staring hardcore <laughs> just now. Right, baby, here we are. I wonder what they're gonna do whenever they see the skyline here. I'm pretty sure these guys have never seen a skyline in their dealership ever, other than an R35, probably. So, uh, if they have an R35, I would definitely want to take a look at it. It'd be pretty cool. All right, so we're just waiting in line right now for. It literally looks like a JCI line, honestly, but uh, we're just waiting in line right now for an advisor to come up to us, start talking, and then once we. Uh, start that then we should be good to go All right guys, so we just got out of the Nissan dealership and They said they could do it for That price right there So uh, yeah, the guy by the name of uh, Joe definitely helped me out on that. So uh, if Any of you guys are in the Waxahachie area uh, definitely hit up Nissan uh, Nissan of uh, Waxahachie they are freaking awesome so yeah uh, all right so now we're going back down to the uh, house we're going to uh, get the car well I just washed the car but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of like dust it off again I guess you could say and then we're gonna start clay barring the car and then we're going to wax the car and then we'll talk about the car um, how rare it is and all that stuff on there so all right I will see you guys at the house yo wouldn't it be so cool if we could do like a Z build like a brand new Z, that would be freaking dope. I would do a brand new Z um, drift build, would definitely do that. But uh, not right now, because I gotta pour all my money into this baby right here. And make her look good, make her sound good, and make her feel good. There's not really a lot of sports cars out here. Come on, Nissan, step up your game. Look at all these uh, SUVs and stuff. I'm not saying that the SUVs are crappy, but like, Come on, Nissan, you, you gotta, you know, you gotta put the sports car game back out again. Look at all these Sentras and Altimas and stuff. It's just like, come on. Well, guys, 
the skyline has decided to um, not go with the plans of what we were going to do with it today. Yeah. So basically what happened was is that the fuel line that was, uh, I'm assuming it was the pressure line going to the motor, um, decided to burst. So now I have no fuel. Well, I do have fuel. The car wasn't running funny, but I smell fuel. Pretty much, uh, yeah, that's gushing out everywhere. And I was wondering why I was leaking so much, or I was uh, losing so much gas. And that's why. All right, guys. So it is currently the next day from what you last saw. And, um, yeah, so disaster struck. Um, so uh, I don't know if I mentioned that I went ahead and changed out the fuel pump on the Skyline to a GTR fuel pump. And uh, I thought that was a pretty cool, you know, swap out because my fuel pump actually died on me and it left me stranded. Um, so what eventually happened was is that I was going down um, to do the tires and stuff like that. That's when you last saw me. Uh, I was at the dealership and stuff like that to go and uh, do the tire stuff. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to do it because of the reason of what I have right now. Um, or what was, I should say. Uh, basically, what happened was is at the, uh, f the fuel line, basically from where the fuel tank's actually at going down to the metal lines, uh, basically ruptured the uh, rubber, I guess you could say. The rubber ruptured out and now um, the fuel line was basically, you know, split and was leaking fuel. Uh, the reason why I knew this is because whenever I decided to uh, go through a town and I was stopped at a light, all of a sudden I smelled gas. So I was like, okay, I'm like right next to a gas station, but there's no way that I should be smelling that gas. So um, I pull over and I smell gas coming from the car. So I was like, oh geez, I have a issue with my seal on the uh, fuel tank. So I went to go take a look at that, and um, pretty much uh, the seal was good. Uh, There's no leaks from the seal or anything. So I was like, okay, so what's causing the um, the leak? And so I turn on the car again, and I go back to where my uh, main fuel line is at, and behold, just a just a waterfall of uh, fuel just coming out uh, from underneath the car and uh, right where the, uh, the line actually meets up. So what I'm thinking what happened was is that it was an old line, it was corroded and stuff, because those look like they were original lines. I'm probably gonna insert a couple pictures. But yeah, that's basically what happened, and that left me stranded, and I had to call a tow truck, and that wasn't fun, because that was the second time I had to do it within a week. But um, today we went ahead and sorted out all that stuff. I didn't get to film anything, because I was kind of on a time crunch. And as you can tell, it is uh, 9.36 right now, and um, I really, really wanted to uh, get this car back uh, to my apartment complex about an hour away. I didn't want to leave it here because I just, I don't know, I, I hate leaving, being separated from my cars, um, you know, parked in different areas and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's basically what happened and that's what left me stranded um, I did get it fixed though like I said I went ahead and replaced all of the fuel lines not just the one that was ruptured I um, did the one that was over in the um, the uh, engine bay as well uh, the line going into the fuel filter from the line uh, the metal line and the line going from the fuel filter to the uh, engine and then the one or the uh, return line coming from the engine all the way back to the metal line and then the um, line that's basically going to the uh, the uh, fuel pump in the back so I went ahead and replaced all of that that got a rubber hose basically meant for multi-fuel vehicles and it's up to 255 psi so the GTR um, fuel pump I think only does 75 
I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure it does like 75 or something like that. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's basically what happened. So now we're on our way home, and uh, car's running good now. Car's running good. I'm not leaking any fuel. I'm not going to catch on fire. Um, honestly, I think the shield that was in the uh, back of the car, the, uh, the shield that's on the front of the uh, the uh, gas tank actually saved me from actually getting a fire because it was actually leaking inside in between that shield and the actual gas tank so if that wasn't there I'm pretty sure the car would be on fire uh, so I'm really really thankful for that but uh, yeah so that's where I'm at right now um, I had to reschedule my uh, tire appointment for um, that Nissan dealership Unfortunately, I had to do it for next week. I'll be getting on the highway now, so I am going to let everybody go. Hopefully everybody has a great rest of your day if you're watching this during the day. If you're watching it at night, have a great rest of your night. Anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy today's video and the little unfortunate event that happened uh, that we all got sorted out. But anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you all in the next one.